it's Reagan and today I am doing a pretty exciting video. It's going to be the bookish Academy Awards 2014 edition. If you're not aware of, uh, last year this was actually a tag created by Kayla over at Bookadoodles, which I did last year, and essentially it is just kind of a tag or a video where she recreated all of the Academy Award categories into bookish categories, and then you pick a book that fits. And I said last year that I want to do this every year. So I'm doing so basically there are all sorts of categories that um, I picked books that I read in the year 2014 because you know that's how the Academy Awards kind of work too and I fit them in to the categories. So, so let's go ahead and get started with the first. The first category is best actor which in this video is going to be best male protagonist. For this I picked Victor from Vicious. Victor is one of my favorite characters of all time. He is conniving yet redeemable and just the fact that he has so many facets to his personality just makes him great to read from. Plus I just honestly love reading from a despicable character's point of view. I find it interesting and I don't know it adds a dynamic layer that you usually don't find in books. Plus Vicious was obviously one of my top books of last year so it's not surprising that the lead character Victor made it onto my list. Now the next category is best actress which is best female protagonist in a book and for this I picked Amy from Gone Girl and now I'm not going to go into why because I don't want to say anything on accident but if you've seen the movie or read the book you shouldn't be surprised. Amy is a very interesting character to read from and she just kind of redid the whole game and I just really appreciated her as a, per as a character. Not as a person necessarily, but as a character. I think she was very interesting and I think important for uh, other characters in books to come in the future. So I had to give it to Amazing Amy. The next category is Best Cinematography, which is Best Plot Twist. For this, I had to pick The Hero of Ages or honestly any book within the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. This trilogy is stock full of plot twists, like you'll think you're like, surely that is the end of the twists and the turns, and it is not. It is just the beginning, I promise you. Clearly, I'm not going to tell you what the plot twists are in this series, because that would ruin it. And I'm not going to ruin it, but the series, for sure, best plot twist I have ever read. So, Mistborn. The next category is Best Costume Design, and this is going to go to the prettiest cover of all the books I read last year in 2014. And for this, I went with The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. I love this book. You know I love this book. But let's be honest, this cover is honestly one of the best covers ever. It's just so great. The hues of blue mixed with the rose gold of the feather. Plus, honestly, I love the title. I love that it's such a tongue twister. It fits the nature and the story of the book so well and I just love everything about this simple beautiful little book so much. The next category is best supporting actor and actress which is you know best female and male sidekick within a book. For my best supporting actor I picked Leo Valdez from the Heroes of Olympus series. I don't know I would qualify him as supporting though sometimes he is a main character but Leo is so wonderful. He's so funny and honestly he became my favorite character at the end of this whole series. Like I just want a whole book series dedicated to Leo Valdez. He's sassy, he's wonderful, he's just great. Even when he feels like a seventh wheel, he's still great, alright? And he saved this book. <laughs> Let's be real. And my best female uh, sidekick character is the robot ship from Crest, or just really from the Lunal Chronicles. I can't remember her name, but again, she's just a wonderfully sassy side character that's just like cuts the tension in this book series by saying something hilarious to everyone. Or just she doesn't take crap from anyone, especially Captain Thorne, and it's just so funny. I just love my um, sidekick characters to kind of be the comic you know, relief in some of these very heavy and scary situations. They always try to make the best of it. The next category is Best Adapted Screenplay or Best Book to Movie Adaptation for the year 2014. And for this, I picked, of course, Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins because the Hunger Games movie franchise is probably, in my opinion, one of the most successful young adult book to movie adaptations like ever. And I wanted to pick a book to movie adaptation where I had both read the book and seen the movie. And if you're wondering why I didn't pick Gone Girl, it's because I am trying to pick one book for each category. Otherwise, it would just be a whole bunch of books that you've already seen throughout this whole video. Unlike the Academy Awards, 
I'm spreading the love. Category is best original screenplay and this is the most original and complex world that you read this year. And for this, because I already used Ms. Boren, I am going to use Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Mr. George can create a complex uh, weave of characters and setting and he does so in this series here that I'm sure a lot of you already know, but yeah. Game of the next category is Best Animated Feature, which is turned into what book would you think would turn into a really good animated film? And for this I picked the Amulet Graphic Novel series. Now I don't know if this is cheating, because it's already like drawn, so it's like halfway to made into an animated film, but I honestly feel like this would be a fantastic Mizaki film. Like because it almost already is when you read it. Like, that's the feeling I get when I read it, and it's just so wonderful and whimsical, and chi it has such a great childlike, um, like, creativity to it that's just so lovely to read, and I know it'd be wonderful to watch, so I'm actually hoping this is gonna be a thing, so. The next category is Best Director, and this is translated into an author that you've discovered for the first time last year. And for this, I picked Marcus Sedgwick, because I r discovered him last year, and I read three of his books, which was... Uh, more than any other author I had discovered last year. I love Marcus Sedgwick's writing. It has a creepy eeriness to it, a sort of detached narrative style that makes you feel like this has been a story that has kind of been in popular lore for centuries, even though it obviously hasn't. It just has that feeling to it, and I just really love his books. They're great. I mean, I'll read them. Next category is Best Visual Effects, which is Best Action Found in a Book, and for this I picked Air of Fire by Sarah J Maas because Sarah J Maas Air of Fire, like, I had to put it for something, and I loved reading this book and reading the combat, reading the training, it has such great training combat scenes in this, and I love reading that, and I thought this book delivered it super, super well, so it won. Congratulations. You're welcome, Selena. The next category is Best Short Film, which is translated to Best Novella or Short Book. Now, in the year 2014, I don't think I read any novellas, and if I did, they obviously didn't stand out to me. So I'm, for this, I picked a short book, and I went with Codename Verity by Elizabeth Ween. And um, this is a historical fiction young adult book following two female perspectives as they fight in World War II. I thought this book was absolutely lovely. Like, it's about female friendship, and just strength and different types of strength. It, uh, it was so good. I definitely teared up a little bit throughout this and I just thought this was a really really lovely historical fiction piece to read. The next category is best picture which is best standalone novel that you read in 2014 and for this I picked All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Nador. This shouldn't be a surprise. This is like creme de la creme historical fiction World War II novel that I still think about and I still ponder over. The writing and the metaphor in this are absolutely exquisite and it deserves to win all the accolades that it's been nominated for. It is so wonderful. So that is why I gave it Best Picture. There you go. And the, the last category is Best Documentary, which is translated to Best Historical Fiction or Nonfiction. And I, had it, I didn't read any nonfiction last year. But for this, I ended up picking Brio Rights by Hannah Kent. This is a historical fiction novel centering around the final execution in Iceland. This book is so lovely. I keep saying that for all the books, clearly, because they're winning my awards. But um, this book has, has a, it's, it's lovely. It's written um, very bluntly, and it has a really great atmospheric setting, because it's set in Iceland. I really enjoyed the reading experience when I read this, and it was fantastic, so... You haven't picked it up I would there you go guys those are my winners for the uh, bookish 2014 Academy Awards hopefully you enjoyed this one a little more than last night's broadcast am I right people because that was a little weak anyway I will see you guys soon with another video soon let me know down below some books that you would want to give an Academy Award to and I will see you bye